how to create a fillable digital planner. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own fillable digital planner that you can start selling online on Etsy or Amazon for free using Canva. So let's get into it now. It's very simple and easy to use Canva. I have just signed up using my Gmail account. You can sign up with any email address that you have. After that, it's going to be a very simple process of creating your fillable digital planner. You're just going to click on custom size over here. You're going to change this from pixels to inches, and then you can choose the size of your digital planner. So what I'm going to go for is a 10 by 12 uh, page so that is something i like to go for you can totally choose your own designs or you can go with one of canvas templates so you can write um planner over here and then you can get started with a template on canva but i'm not going to do that i'm going to start from scratch but you can choose to do that if you want to simplify your work so you can see that they have many different sample planners that you can get started with as well but I'm just going to click on create a blank planner. So it's just going to open up my canvas size that I entered. And now I can get started with creating my planner. Now you can see this is a simple little page. What I want to create is a basic and simple planner where um, it's like a daily planner where people can write their day to day notes, their appointments, meetings, anything like that. So I'm going to create a planner for everyday use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first off click on the page and then I'm going to change the color and I'm going to click on document colors and I'm going to go for like a nice little pink shade. So I'm going to move it this over here. And I think this is a pretty good shade to work with or maybe slightly more reddish like this. Yeah. So after changing the page color, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go on to the element section and you can just click on the element section and you're going to go in lines and shapes. And then you can click on the square box over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom into my page so the page is as zoomed in as possible. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this right over here. So I'm just going to make two little boxes. I'm going to do control C and then control V. I'm going to place this over here. Now after placing this over here, I'm just going to change the color onto white. So these are two white boxes instead of being like blue boxes or anything like that. And once I have done this, I'm going to add the text. So I'm just going to click on text over here at the left. And you can use one of the base text. But if you scroll down, there are many different font combinations provided by Canva. So I would recommend that you choose a font combination that has been provided by Canva because these are really nice and easy and you don't have to think a lot. You have like a nice little font to work with. So I'm just going to go with this font. And now I'm just going to delete this. And over here, I'm just going to write um tasks or i'm just gonna write tasks like this and i'm just gonna click on the text i'm going to click on ungroup so those two separate boxes are ungrouped and i'm just gonna move the tasks over here then i'm just going to click on the text box and then i'm going to do Control c and Control v and then i'm going to add it over here and i'm going to write over here notes and now after i have done that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take this white box i'm going to do Control c Control v drag this down over here but instead of making it like that i'm just going to make this like a larger section like so after it is like a larger section what i'm going to do is i'm going to center it so right now this is centered and after that i'm just going to copy this text and what i'm going to write is appointments like this so i'm just going to write appointments over here and I'm just going to make sure that the text fits. So I'm just going to decrease the size, move it over here at one side. Now, after doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into the element section. I'm just going to search for lines and then I'm going to go into the graphic section. After going into the graphic section, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this cute little line over here and I'm just going to place it like so. I'm going to place it at the center right below these two sections and I'm just going to expand it like so. So you can see this is like a cute design. I'm using this as a separator between these two sections. Now I'm actually gonna give this a little bit distance because I think it looks too close together. So I'm just gonna move it over here like this. Now I'm gonna also change the text color because I want this to be like a darker shade of pink. So I'm gonna select the pink of the background from the document colors. And then I'm just gonna go and make it darker like this. And I'm also going to make the text a bit uh, darker. So what I'm gonna do is maybe add like a lift effect 
yeah, a lift effect looks good. Now I'm also going to click on tasks. I'm going to change the color into this new color that I added to my document colors like this. Now, after my appointment section, now you can add any different sections you want at the bottom. You can leave it as is so people can fill out their own sections or you can add like a planner section. You can just add some columns for people to fill out their stuff. Now, for me, after my tasks and notes and appointments, I usually like to add meetings in the same format. So I'm just going to copy this all together and I'm going to place it down below over here. Actually, I'm going to place this at the bottom. And then I'm going to change the appointments into meetings like this. And you, you can obviously add your own text according to your planner's theme. So I'm just going to align this with the upper box like this. And I'm going to place this a bit down below as well. I'm going to place this at the center, as centered as it can be, like this. And then I'm just going to expand these boxes so they are the appropriate size. Now... After this, you can add a bit more of decorative items. So you can just go into your element section. And according to the theme, I want this to be a bit floral. So I'm just going to search for flowers. And then I'm going to go into the graphic section after searching for flowers. And I want to scroll down and take a look at the different little cute little flowers that they have. And I'm just going to take one of these flowers. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to place it on the white paper. And you might be wondering... Why would I place a flower on top of the paper instead of placing it on like the sides or on the pink side? Because people like, you know, translucent paper with kind of designs that, that usually look a bit more attractive on planners. So I'm just going to do the same thing and I'm just waiting for this to load. I don't know why this is not loading up. Until then, I'm just going to open up another one of these flowers. I guess this is a bit slow right now so after you have added all of your design elements so all the things you want to add for design after you have added those what you're going to do is you're just going to go back into your element section and you're just going to go into lines and shapes and you're going to take this plain and simple line and then you can just place it at the center of the little boxes that you created do Control c and Control v so i've added these flowers and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to resize them and I'm going to click on transparency over here. And once I have done that, I'm just going to go and decrease the transparency. Then I'm going to increase the size. And then I'm just going to place it over here at the bottom of this page. And I'm going to delete the stars from here. And I'm just going to rotate this so it's entirely on the page. And then I'm just going to decrease the transparency. Now for these flowers, I'm just going to decrease the transparency and rotate them so they are just in, on the page. And I'm just going to place them like so. And I'm going to do Control C and Control V and copy these flowers onto the other page as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these lines that I was placing and I'm going to place these first because that is going to interact with my flower. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the line color. I'm going to make it the darker shade of pink. And now I'm just going to do Control C and Control V. Place these a couple of more times. So after placing three lines, I'm just going to select them all together. I'm going to select my lines all together. Make sure you're selecting your lines and not the actual box. So... I want to select the lines and if you can't select the lines you can just select it like this and do Control c and then Control v place them over here and then you can just click and click on ungroup over here you can click on these and then you can delete the like background paper and then you have these lines over here as well and then you can add these lines on the bottom appointments and meeting section as well so that is how easy it is to create your own fillable digital planner as a beginner i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video